So using a semi-habituated herd means that we've firstly been able to come in and actually assess the personalities of the elephants. We get the exact age of the elephants. And so we really know these elephants as a baseline, what they behave like in the beginning. So once we start exposing them to all these different treatments, we can see how the individual elephant reacts and start applying that to wild elephants where you can't continuously expose them to these different aspects or you might not know the herd structure or the herd personality. So by able to know all this stuff from the beginning, we can then see how their behaviors change and start looking at, okay, maybe it's the matriarch who does this, maybe it's the youngsters who behave like this. Mm. So it teaches us from the beginning, a herd not exposed to bees, how their behaviors are going to change over time. So it's almost, it's, it's a bit more exact, your science, is it not? That's what it sounds like. Yes, yeah, so instead of just having random elephants all the time and you don't know if you're doing the same elephants, here we know the exact same individuals each time will come to you. The, either single treatments or combos of treatments and then we can see how those individuals react. This is interesting stuff. Yeah. Waiting for the elephants to come now. We've got our eight pheromone rocks here, so those are rocks covered with the bee attack pheromone. And then just in front of the vehicle is a little speaker that Stefan's going to turn on when the elephants are 30 meters away, and that's going to play the sounds of disturbed buzzing honeybees for the elephants. So they'll come across the sounds first, and then as they move on, they come across the attack pheromone itself.
sound experiment, we found that Tokwe was the one who actually did show some sort of reaction. So she was the, the leader that day and she stopped and took a step back and we had quite a few of the other flints passing her. Um, so being the older cow and that we're really interested in what her behavior is because in the wild we're assuming that with bee threats it's the older ones who pass on the information to the younger ones. So we've been lucky to interview the groomsmen in the past this year to actually get a personality assessment of every single elephant so we can know the elephant's sex, the age and the sort of behavior that they do on a general basis and then look at how they're reacting to these bee biology components and play it off that. So Talkway once again was one of those with the sounds who showed some sort of behavior. And so it's interesting for us because we don't know her entire past and no one might know if she's actually come across bees or not before. But the idea is that if she's picking up something, we might see it later on passed down to the rest of the herd if it actually does become a physical threat for the elephants.